find ways to win. And so we got to make sure that we start fast and find ways to win on our part. Patrick Mahomes has quickly become one of the greatest quarterbacks in the NFL today. Even though he has only been in the league for a few years, he has achieved great success. And this comes from his ability to not let his fears get in his way. Upon arriving in Kansas City after being drafted, he felt empowered to be himself and lead the team. Because of this, he was able to quickly establish himself as the leader of the team and in a short time lead them to the Super Bowl in 2020. Yeah, I think it's that never give up mentality. It's, it's you know, we're going to go out there and give our best effort every single play. He has gone up against the greatest quarterbacks in NFL history and found a way to lead his team to victory. He acknowledges their greatness and has a tremendous amount of respect for them, but always remembers that his ultimate goal is victory. He doesn't let their greatness stand in the way of his leading his team to the ultimate prize. Uh, you have a good idea of what he's thinking now. Uh, kind of during the week. Patrick knows that he is a leader and his ability to stay focused gives his team confidence. He sees it time and time again as his team never gives up in the face of adversity. They grind and fight for every win. His desire to compete also shows itself off the field as Patrick enjoys playing Call of Duty. He has played for a few years, he says, and sometimes enjoys watching other people play on the internet. He has also shown that desire to compete and how he has rehabbed from a knee injury, doing whatever it takes to get himself strong again. I did get hurt came back from it and got to win the Super Bowl. So, I mean, uh, at least got through it and, and beat it there at the end. To be able to get on the field with his teammates, Patrick hasn't always had success. In the most recent Super Bowl in February 2021, his team lost to the Tampa Bay Bucks. He knows they fought hard but didn't play the kind of football that would lead them to a championship. He said he was proud of his team and how they fought to the very end of the game. He even acknowledged that he hasn't been beaten that way in a long time. Patrick knew that the game was out of his hands before it was over but never stopped fighting. You you know how much they compete in whatever they do and they believe they can win. Giving everything he had until the very end for his team and for himself. Patrick Mahomes doesn't let his fears get in the way of what he wants. He channels that fear into power and motivation instead of letting it cripple his dreams and the abilities he possesses. If you watch Patrick Mahomes play, you can easily see that he doesn't let fear stand in the way of what he wants to accomplish. I'm doing what you can to, to make make those to make those girls feel loved and, and know that they're coming to Kansas City and they're going to get supported like every other sports team does here. Playing baseball, you see the sidearm, you see all the different type of stuff, and it, it taught me that you can't always throw from the perfect platform, and you have to still be accurate. And so that definitely applies to my football game. We built every single day, and 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 now we have the chance to go to go to Miami and, and get the ultimate goal, which is Super Bowl. I've been blessed to be in a great situation with a lot of great football players and coaches around me. Uh, I think that's the biggest thing is from day one, I've I've been accepted to to go out there and be who I am, and uh, the, my teammates that they've responded by being being great every single day. And so I was in high school, like freshman year of high school, uh, eighth grade even maybe. To answer your second question, I don't stream just because I feel like I'm good but not that good. I don't stream, but I'll watch streamers every once in a while, but I can't sit there for more than like five to ten minutes watching them. Like, I don't see how people can sit for like hours and watch watch people. So my knee has been doing awesome. Uh, obviously, I've been I've been working with it all offseason uh, like I did during this season, but I actually feel like all the work that I've put in to, for injury prevention on my knee that I'm actually probably stronger than it was before as far as my quad and hip flexor and everything like that that holds that kneecap in place. And I I mean, I do so much extra work on that stuff just to, uh, obviously with the injury that I had that I, I feel like I'm stronger than ever with uh, with those muscles. Squats, single leg, raises, a lot of that stuff is really building those muscles, builds that quad, it really holds that kneecap in place. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. Obviously being able to do it at home, being able to win the Lamar Hunt Trophy here and uh, do it for the, the, the fans and everybody like that was awesome. Uh, we fell short last year and we, and we learned from it. We built every single day and, and now we have the chance to go to, to go to Miami and, and get the ultimate goal, which is Super Bowl. I broke it, was thinking about just running out of bounds and as I got to the sideline, I realized that I could cut up and I was running down the sideline and I knew we had two timeouts, so I was like, I might as well try to cut it back. And so I cut it back and luckily was able to hang on to the ball and get in the end zone. No, he, he didn't. I mean, I think that's the best thing about playing with Coach Reed, playing for Coach Reed is that he lets you be who you are. He lets you go out there and really play the way that you want to play as long as it's uh, according to the guidelines of how to play the quarterback position, he lets you be who you are. Yeah, I think it's that never give up mentality. It's it's that we're going to go out there and give our best effort every single play and really take advantage of every single play of the rest of the game. And uh, we, we don't care if we're down 10-0, we don't care if we're up 10-0. We're going to go out there and execute and do whatever we can to have success on every single play. In the NFL, you're going to go through adversity. Yeah, I mean, I, I've, I've been blessed to 
be in a great situation with a lot of great football players and coaches around. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I did. I mean, obviously, I didn't play the way I wanted to play. Um, but I mean, I mean, what else can you say? You, all you can do is leave everything you have on the field, and I feel like the guys did that. Uh, they were the better team today. Um, they beat us uh, pretty, pretty good. Uh, the worst that I think I've been beaten in a long time. But I'm, I'm proud of the guys. Now they fought till the very end of the game. Probably when I threw the interception at the very end of the game. I mean, you knew it was pretty much over then because we had no timeouts. I mean, we battled to the very end. And that's one thing you can say. I mean, we played not very good football today, um, but we battled. Now you have to respect the guys for their their, uh, for their toughness on doing that. Yeah, I mean, it, it was a tragic situation all around. I mean, praying for everyone that was involved. But uh, we went to the game, and I felt like he was, he was uh, still Coach Reed, um, still the same guy. But uh, obviously we wanted to win the game, um, but we didn't. Now it's about continuing to move forward and, and, and try to do whatever we can to keep moving forward. Yeah, I mean, they, they battled. I think that's the biggest thing. I thought they, they fought the entire game. They got better as the game went on. I mean, like you said, I mean, the guys stepped up and really stepped into their roles and, and found a way to get us across the finish line. And so, uh, I mean, obviously, that's a really good defensive line. And I thought they did a good job of keep battling the entire game. Yeah, I mean, he's been a great addition. I mean, you've seen him in spurts. He's, he's been getting in, uh, making plays happen when he's in the in the football game. And, uh, I mean, obviously, we're hoping Clyde gets back quickly. Um, but I think we have a good guys in that running back room that will step up and uh, really embrace that role. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's just it's just a bunch of respect. I mean, uh, I mean, obviously, I watched Drew growing up. Um, I have the same financial advisor as Drew does now, and I've I've met him over the years. Just got different things, and he spoke advice to me. Um, and so uh, for for me, just showing him the ultimate respect. I mean, he's one of the best to ever do it. Um, he's still doing it at a high level. And so uh, it was a great game. And uh, it, obviously, we came out with the win, but uh, it was a great game by him as well.